Hi guys, how about some red velvet barfi with a cream cheese frosting for this Diwali? To make this, I'm starting off with some full cream milk and I'm going in with some media cream or table cream. Next goes in some freshly grated ginger, some ghee, and some ground elaichi or ground cardamom. Next, you want to mix those ingredients into the milk. It's going to be sticky at first, but you're going to continue mixing until it dries out. Once it comes to this consistency, we're going to go ahead and sift this mixture. Now, if sifting is too tedious for you, of course, you can put it into your food processor and pulse it until it comes out to a fine powder, just like you see here. So you want to continue mixing that and when you're finished, go in with some cocoa powder and mix that in. You want to make sure that it's properly mixed through. And then you just want to set this aside. Let's work on the sugar syrup. So to your saucepan, I'm adding sugar and water to make a syrup. We're making a simple syrup. We're going to bring this up to a simmer. Allow the sugar crystals to dissolve. Once it has dissolved, it's ready. Next, you're going to pour some red food coloring into your milk mixture. Now, as you're adding the sugar water, you would gauge to see if it has enough coloring. If it's not the red that you want, you'll need to add some more. So add your sugar mixture a little at a time and mix. You do not want to add too much because it will get too soft and it will not set. And if you add too little, it can fall apart. So once it reaches that sticky consistency, put it into a pan and spread it out evenly. You see, mine is not too soft and it's not too firm. It's at a perfect consistency. All you have to do is allow it to set. Let's make the cream cheese frosting. So to my cream cheese, I'm adding in some icing sugar or powdered sugar. Next goes in some vanilla. And some heavy cream or whole milk. Next, whip or mix until it has a nice runny consistency like this. All you have to do is pour this into a squeeze bottle or a Ziploc bag. When the barfi is set, remove it from the pan and go ahead and cut it into small squares. If you wanted to cut it into any other shape, you can. I'm keeping the traditional square shape. You see that beautiful red color it has with that hint of chocolate in it. And it has set up quite beautifully. I do want to say that because we put the chocolate in this, it would change the consistency of the barfi. So you would get a more of a stickier barfi. Next, drizzle your cream cheese mixture on each square. So once you finish, put on that cream cheese frosting. You're going to decorate with the sprinkles or thousands. One tip I want to give you guys is if you wanted to use white chocolate instead to decorate instead of cream cheese, you can. It would set up firmer than the cream cheese. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and have a happy Diwali 2018.